<laughs> wow. Welcome back to the YouTube channel, friends. It's your best and favorite YouTuber, Brian. Yeah, that's uh, that's me. And I, let's start that intro over again, because what was that? Create cool things. Welcome back to the YouTube channel, friends. It's great to see you here. And if you had just a quick moment, that would mean the world to me if you hit the like button on this video, subscribe to the channel, and left something amazingly heartwarming in the comments below. Well, if you know me, I love to dig into the little nuances that make life that much better. And by realizing some of the things I'm gonna share with you today, they actually changed my life. And not in these big, monumental, crazy ways, but these little subtle tweaks just made my day that much better. So the first thing that I just have to talk about is cortisol and it's a stress hormone and cortisol in a lot of cases can definitely be a good thing like when you're working out or needing a good level of stress to be productive and be focused. But if you're dealing with too much cortisol, too much stress in your life, this is eventually going to add up and lead to some not very exciting life moments and life experiences. So one of the first things that I've done to help keep my cortisol levels lower is actually cut out quite a bit of caffeine. I'm currently limiting my caffeine intake to only about 100 milligrams of caffeine every single day and I won't drink any caffeine after noon. And being that caffeine has quite the long life to it as well as quite the long half-life to it, if you're consuming coffee or energy drinks late into the afternoon, that caffeine is still going to be in your system by the time you're going to sleep. And all of this caffeine is going to keep those cortisol levels way too spiked to where when you're trying to go to bed and get good sleep, you just can't. Now another thing that helps keep my cortisol and stress lower is not dieting too hard. I've said this quite a bit but it cannot be reiterated enough. If you're in too steep of a calorie deficit your body is going to jump right into fight or flight mode which means it's going to pump a bunch of cortisol into your system. You're going to get way too stressed out. This is why it's very very important to have some idea of the food you're eating making sure you're not creating too steep of a calorie deficit over a long period of time and this is going to make a huge difference in those cortisol levels. Beyond caffeine that I'm consuming and food that I'm eating or not eating enough of, here's a few things that have really helped my anxiety and stress. And one of the main things is limiting the amount of news that I'm consuming. You have to understand that any way in which you're consuming food, what you're drinking, or even information through your eyeballs, it's going to make a big difference on how you feel. And we have access to so much information, especially news and current events. And while it's good to know what's happening in the world, I think at a certain point you can be over consumed with a bunch of bad stuff that's happening. Especially when news outlets are just trying to get you to fearfully click on stuff, you will be surprised after consuming this how much it actually affects your state of being, your mental health, as well as that cortisol level. Over the last few months, I've actually cut out a ton of just news and current events that I'm consuming, and this made a massive freaking difference in my life. I wish there was more news outlets that gave good news. Like, why is it all just negative? Think about just naturally, if you're just constantly seeing and consuming negative information, in the world, what's your outlook on life really gonna look like? Additionally, I have really limited how much social media that I'm consuming. Whether it's Instagram or TikTok or YouTube, whatever the social media platform is, I found that the algorithm naturally is gonna show you a bunch of stuff that you're interested in, or maybe things you're currently trying to learn or progress in. Now think about this. Let's say you're trying to get in shape, lose a bunch of weight, and then every time you get on Instagram, you're seeing a bunch of people, maybe they're on performance enhancing drugs, and they look crazy, mind-blowing shredded. Well, how is that gonna make you feel? Maybe you're a videographer and then the algorithm's showing you like insanely epic videography stuff, cinematography stuff, and then you look at the stuff that you're creating and you're scratching your head like, dude, maybe I suck a little bit. I have personally gone through this multiple times and realized, oh my goodness, social media is quickly becoming this comparison thing of who's doing better, who's doing the best, and it just creates this 
this negative internal feeling of like, I am not sufficient enough. When in fact, you probably are because no one else is you. So comparing yourself to anyone else is so freaking pointless. Now let's not get confused between comparing yourself in a negative way and just being inspired by others. That can definitely be very helpful, but you can get to a point where it becomes detrimental. <laughs> The next big change that I made are electrolytes. I was so in the dark on electrolytes up until last August of 2022. I did a five week challenge to see if I could get super crazy shredded lean. And about halfway through that challenge, I started looking into electrolytes and realized, oh my goodness, this is way bigger and way more important than I thought it was. These past couple days, I've been a lot more mindful of my electrolyte intake, hydration, and ensuring that you're getting the appropriate ratio of electrolytes is crazy, crazy important. It keeps your nervous system, your muscles, your metabolism all functioning and firing the way it's supposed to be. Now, first of all, I want to give a big thanks to Element for sponsoring this video. Element is a delicious electrolyte drink mix, and I've been drinking it and using Element for the last few weeks now, and it's just a fantastic way to replenish electrolytes, especially if you train super hard, or even if you're not super active, every person needs electrolytes. Electrolytes literally facilitate hundreds of functions in the human body. And this includes the conduction of nerve impulses, hormonal regulation, nutrient absorption, as well as fluid balance. Last August, when I figured all of this electrolyte stuff out and started immediately replenishing my electrolytes, I had way less brain fog, way less cramps, way less headaches. And this was almost an instant feeling of renewed energy. My workout got way better and this is why I was actually stoked when Element reached out to me saying hey we we want to work with you Brian because I was like dude that's amazing because my mind was just recently blown by the power of electrolytes now what's amazing about Element is their formula is actually a science-backed ratio and so each 10 calorie packet has a thousand milligrams of sodium 200 milligrams of potassium as well as 60 milligrams of magnesium also there's no coloring or artificial ingredients there's no gluten in it. There's literally zero BS in it. And I love that I can also drink this if I'm still in a fasted state in the mornings. Being that there's no sugar in Element, it still tastes freaking amazing. The crazy thing here is something as simple as electrolytes. And if you're deficient in it, you may not realize how many miserable days you're living just because you don't have enough electrolytes for your body to perform as optimally as you'd like. Now, if you're interested in trying Element right now, Element is offering my subscribers a free sample pack with any order. So that's eight single serving packets free with any Element order. This is a great way to try all eight flavors or share Element with a salty friend. Get yours at drinkelement.com slash Brian Adam C. Now this deal is only available through my link. It's my own special link. So you must go to drinklmnt.com slash Brian Adam C. <laughs> What you must realize about dopamine is it's not just this euphoric feeling that you get if you do a bunch of hard drugs or something, uh, which I definitely don't recommend. But dopamine is actually a hormone that gives you energy and motivation to feel productive. And my biggest rule of thumb on this one is you want to make sure that your dopamine is organic and as naturally sourced as possible. Personally, I found the best ways that I get dopamine is from exercise. After I crush a hard strength training session and a sweaty cardio session, you feel so much more motivated for the rest of the day. Also, I am absolutely obsessed with music ever since I can remember. I've loved listening to music and only until recently I realized that music is a natural way to release dopamine. Additionally, getting adequate sunlight and sleep is a great way to get that naturally sourced organic dopamine straight from the freaking Whole Foods market. If you've ever gotten a great night of sleep, you wake up and you feel rested and energized and motivated and that's your body sending you that dopamine saying, dude, go freaking crush some stuff today because uh, you earned it by just closing your eyes and resting your face on your pillow. Now, keeping this in mind, one of the best things that I did was build routines around exercise and listening to music and ensuring I'm getting adequate sleep as well as plenty of sunlight and especially the exercise component. I think that's probably where I get the biggest surge of dopamine and that motivational drive. And I found that if I miss a few days of working out, I can 
physically feel not as motivated, not as productive. And if you do this, I feel like you're almost guaranteed happy, motivated, stoked, freaking days. The last one is alcohol. And do I really need to go on a long rant about how bad alcohol is for you? What you need to realize is it's poison for your body. And I used to drink a bunch. I hardly drink anymore. And that simple change has made a huge difference in my life. Now, look, I do understand everyone is at a different place in their life. And some of you are maybe at a more fun or experimental time in your life. Go live and have fun. I'm not trying to tell you what to do or control your life. Do not get me wrong on this. And it's okay to be able to experiment and try things. That's probably one of the best ways to learn. But if you find yourself year after year after year habitually drinking, having multiple drinks every single week, this will start to add up. And this is where I found myself in. It was quite a few years of weekly habitual drinking. Eventually, my body did not start to feel good. I got into my 30s and I was like, hmm, I, something's going on here. I, I do not feel the way I used to feel. Maybe you're in your 20s and you're crushing the freaking booze and you might wake up the next day like, dude, I don't even feel hungover. Just give it a little bit of time. I can probably save you a lot of money as well as potential health risks if you have some awareness of this now, especially how much this could affect the habits that you're building leading into your 30s and beyond. Also keep in mind, if you are going to have a drink, maybe replenish those electrolytes with some element and that might actually help you feel a little bit better the next day. Well, friends, those are four areas of my life that I was able to dial in and it has truly helped me feel freaking awesome every day. And one of the last places that I want you to find yourself in is feeling so horrible and so unmotivated because of these not so good choices in terms of diet and how much social media or news you're consuming, or maybe it is too much alcohol that you're drinking. When you're stuck in that type of rut, you end up going back to those choices to get these little fixes of feeling a little bit better. So it becomes a vicious cycle. And I want to help break you out of that cycle. And these little tweaks, I truly truly believe will help you with that. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate the ongoing support. And if you had a moment, go to drinkelement.com slash Brian Adams C and go get on that electrolyte game. I really don't think you're going to regret it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next video. Peace. But dopamine is actually a hormone. But dorp, 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 but dorp, wow. Now, now one of the, I'm going to share with you four simple things that could, I'm going to share with you four simple things that could, I'm going to share with you four pretty, I'm going to share with you. Wow, it's kind of hot in here. <clears throat> I'm not wearing a hat for once. I do have hair and uh, it's still me. <laughs>